lot of people will look at this and kind of go, well, this is not the time for this. And this has been happening for at least 22 years. I've heard this excuse. Since I've been in this country, I've been hearing this excuse every single year. Every single year, there's any sort of like progressive candidate, any, anybody that sort of brings up alternative ideas, these bold, ch radical change ideas. Well, this is not the time for it. This is the most important election of our time. This is not the time for radical change because it's the most important election of ever. It's not the, yeah, okay. If it is the most important election ever, why don't we act like it is? If it's really that important and we have to move the country forward, why don't we actually take the fucking steps to do it? Why, why say it's the most important election ever and then go back to doing the same bullshit that keeps us from moving forward, that continues to just grind us into a halt, that spins our wheels over and over again? Why keep supporting that system? If this is the most important election ever, let's act like it is and start making bold changes pushing back on the status quo, right? Let's, let's do something that can actually drive change and show the establishment how important these ideas really are. Stand by our belief systems rather than fawning over a party because you want the Democratic Party to be progressive, that you want the Republican Party to be the party of the people. They're not going to be. They're parties of the corporation. They're parties of Wall Street. That's what they are. They have always been that way. Every single time that we've said, oh, it's the most important election ever. We got to we gotta vote with intelligence. Yeah, vote with intelligence. Vote with your belief system. This is the intelligent way to go. Voting for status quo is not. Why give up? Why compromise? Why compromise what you believe in? Why compromise the change that we can make? What is the point of that? Right? This is the time that, that you should be voting for your belief system. And if there isn't a candidate that stands for that, then fuck it. Support a system that is. Show that Democratic Party that, that we're not going to show up at the convention because you don't stand for what we believe in. It's the same thing as what happened with the Whigs. We're not going to stand up and vote for a party that, that is going to uh, legislate on the behalf of the corporate elites and give us barely half-hearted platitudes. We shouldn't be sitting there and saying, well, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my part because it's the most important election. I'm going to hold my nose and vote for somebody that doesn't stand for what I believe in, that doesn't stand for moving this country forward, that actually wants to move this country 16 years backwards so that in another eight years we can arrive right back to where we started. Voting isn't a fish market. You shouldn't hold your nose and pick something and get the fuck out of there and hope that smell doesn't follow you home. And this is coming from somebody that's waited 22 fucking years to exercise their right to vote. I had to fight for it. I had to earn it. I went through years of xenophobia. I went through years of racism levied against me. I went through years of, of, of people making legislation on my behalf, and I had no fucking say in it whatsoever. So I'm not going to hold my nose and vote against my belief system. Sorry, that's not going to happen. And neither should you. We should be asking for something better. And here's something better right here. A movement for a people's party is something better. Is, 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 is exactly what it sounds like. It's a party based on a movement. It's a party based on political organizing. It's a party based on the people. We should follow our beliefs. We should think critically. We should be intelligent. And we should be voting with that in mind. We should be voting with that in mind. Voting for this duopoly is not going to change anything. It's not going to make lives better. You know, there's people that are like, oh, the fascists are going to come down. They're already here. 
good authoritarians will convince you that you're in a democracy and then you vote in fascism. That's what you do. And we've been doing that for, you know, three or four decades. So let's, let's vote for something a little bit better. There are other political parties that you can break away from the Democrats. You can break away from the Republicans. That's a possibility. We just have to be bold enough to take it. We have to be as bold as people were in 1852 to sit there and say, um, this party that I belong to is not really talking about things that I believe in. I'm done with it. I'm going to go in a different direction. They don't automatically get your votes because you registered with them. They have to earn it. So ask that question. Have they earned your vote? Has the MPP earned your vote? Has the Green Party earned your vote? Have the Libertarians earned your vote? Who has earned your vote with what they're saying? Who has earned your vote by lining up with what you believe in? That's what's important. That's how we should be voting. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you hit the like button, share this out with some friends, with some enemies, anybody that you might think would enjoy content like this, and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Uh, during this quarantine, I'm gonna be putting out videos uh, pretty much every single day surrounding ideas like the one you just heard. Uh, so if you enjoyed this and want more, uh, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I would also tell you guys about some live stand-up comedy dates, but at the moment, I, uh, I don't have any. As a touring comedian, I am uh, unfortunately grounded and uh, have to stay put till, till this whole calamity ends. Uh, so hopefully uh, in, in the next few months, I'll, be, I'll, I'll have some stand-up dates for you guys. Uh, and I am working on a Zoom stand-up comedy show and I will give details to that uh, as, uh, as details to that come out. Uh, but in the meantime, enjoy these videos. And if you have the ability to donate, if you can make a donation, uh, you can become a sustaining member or make a one-time donation over at ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate. Uh, that's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com slash donate. Any little bit uh, will help, but I understand that everybody's going through a pretty difficult time right now. So donating or making any sort of financial contribution is not necessary. All my content is going to be up 100% uh, for free for everybody to enjoy, uh, regardless of your financial situation. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you guys will come back and check out more videos. Till then, we'll see you on the road.